What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today we've got a quick guide for you in Hogwarts Legacy on where you can find yourself some puff skin fur. Now you do need to unlock the nab sack to do this, that's part of the story progress. If you haven't got that far yet, check the pinned comment below this video and you will see how to unlock the nab sack. Now there's more places you can find puff skins than just this one spot, but I use this spot because it's the best place to farm them for making money. So you can see the puff skin den is here, just south of Hogsmeade, just north of Hogwarts. Now, if you want to do this as a money-making method, you can just switch your difficulty down and put it on story mode. That way, when you try and gather them with your knapsack, instead of having the mini game where you have to press square or X, there's no mini game at all, and they just go straight in the bag. It makes it much easier and much quicker. Now, you will need quite a few of these guys because the armor upgrades do need a lot of the puff skin furs. So what I recommend is just come in here. Don't get too close. Let them come towards you and then walk. If you walk, they don't run away so much. So you can just literally sit here and gather them all up. Of course, they run away this time because I'm making the video. So grab as many as you need to get. <clears throat> Once you've got them all, you can return to your room of requirement, which is in Hogwarts. You reach the room of the requirement by going to the secrets point just here, the secret room area. Room of requirement. And then once you're in here, it works the same as all the other beasts. All you've got to do is go into any of your vivariums, put the puff skein in the vivarium, and then fulfill the two requirements for them to produce a material. So for the puff skin, let me see if I've got one in here already. I do. Let's summon him here. Where is he? There he is. So you can see I've already got one here. I can grab it. And that's because he has both been fed and cared for. So if you want to feed them, you use the feed spell that you get during the Room of Requirement quest. And then if you want to brush them, you can use the brush. It's always a good idea to build a food thing because it means when you come back in, they don't have to be fed as much as a bit quicker. So there you go, it's nice and quick, nice and easy. Get when you can get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.